Measurement and calibration of our machines is very important. And one of the tools we use is the laser Doppler displacement meter. It is a step above a typical laser interferometer that somebody might use. And you'll see looking at these numbers that we are in the tens of thousands of an inch when it comes to actual positional and placement of the accuracy of the machine. The way that it works is a laser is projected through a mirror to a receiving mirror that's actually placed onto the machine. We'll tell the machine to move one inch and at the same time that's tied up with the laser which says hey I'm expecting to arrive one inch away and then it's able to compare that exact one inch that the laser is expecting to see um, that the machine moved and then by taking the measurement with the laser we're able to see exactly how far we did get. The great thing about this technology is that you can apply it over the total length of the travel of the machine. So you're not limited to quoting an accuracy over a certain size, we can quote that accuracy over the travel. So one of the tools we use uh, to calibrate, calibrate our machines is the laser Doppler displacement meter. But a step way beyond that is the Faro Laser Tracker. Uh, the Faro Laser Tracker has opened up opportunities for us at Wadjet that simply didn't exist before we had the capability to measure and quantify things that we were doing. What you'll see is there's a mirror that is actually put on the bottom of the cutting head. That ties up with a laser beam that is coming out of here and it will automatically follow wherever the laser is. So it's obviously a very intelligent tool. But as a result, as opposed to doing axial mapping, which is what the, uh, the lasers are used down the side for, and then an interpolation of your position, by using a Faro laser tracker, we are able to map a plane. With a laser Doppler displacement meter, we actually have to move, take a reading, move, take a reading, move, take a reading, and then make the adjustments. Here, this is a dynamic system. With a Faro, we can set it up to take an entire measurement on a plane, come up one inch, and do it again. So the positioning and the mapping of our cutting head when using a Faro laser tracker is way beyond that of uh, the traditional system used by most people. Of course, the other thing is, is that we can use this for five axis. So as we start to do any kind of five axis movement or rotational movement, we can also even map the rotation of a pipe indexing system uh, plus five axis cutting and get true position in space. And that is a major advantage. You'll find that very few people have this kind of equipment. It's very expensive and it has allowed us to explode our capacity as to where we are going as a company and advance our technology. Critical to every machine that we build is that it cuts round circles and square squares. And one way to verify this electronically is with a Renishaw ball bar. Uh, the process of the ball bar is that you have a rod here and we program the machine as if it was cutting a circle. Now that rod is loaded inside there, so as it goes around, we're able to measure if it's actually doing this or not um, as it comes around. In the process, we can say, okay, we should have a theoretical, perfectly round circle, but in fact, there are variances of small amounts here or there or sometimes could be a large amount. Um, we are then able to immediately see if our beams are actually parallel to each other, if they maybe are actually going out sideways like this, if our cross beam is maybe like this or if our cross beam was even cocked a little bit. So a ball bar is a very useful tool that allows us in seconds, because it's nearly finished, uh, to be able to not just check circularity or squareness, but to actually check the whole setup of the machine.
Some of the parameters that we look for when we run a ball bar um, are specifically backlash in any of the motors or drive system, um, squareness of the machine, and actually circularity. And the way that we do this is we run a program, which is essentially a perfect circle, and then we use the ball bar to measure that perfect circle in real space. Um, after running this, the ball bar software gives us this data in a visual format, as you can see here. Now, to the naked eye, most people see this and they say, wow, that doesn't look circular at all. But in reality, our resolution on this graph is so small, we're talking half a thou, a thousandth of an inch, um, per tick mark. So this machine in particular has a circularity of technically plus or minus one thousandth of an inch, which is fantastic for a water jet system. Um, we're also to measure things like positional tolerance, um, straightness in our X and Y axis, and again, backlash and reversal spikes in our motors. Once we get this information from the ball bar, we're able to take this data out and put it back into our controller and again compensate for more of that in our software, which gives us one of the most accurate drive systems out there today. What's even more amazing is we've been able to write our own program because of course we write our own software and we can take that data, uh, put it into a program and it will immediately tell us if we are out of round, out of square, what and where those parameters are and how to make adjustments. Something that's very important to WarJet is that we have remote control of the machine in the event that something goes wrong. So let's say somebody's loading a beam and they whack your cross beam and it knocks it out and something goes wrong and now actually you're not getting round circles. Uh, if you have a ball bar, of course that's a great tool but most people don't even have that on site. They could literally cut a circle or a square, take some measurements, come into a program, put that into the formula. We can teach you how to do it because we are very open at everything that we do at Warjet where you can lock this motor, move that one forward, lock it down again, cut your square and we could have fixed it that way or of course we can do it remotely if we have that information and in an ideal world take a ball bar reading and it tells us absolutely everything and we are able to get you back to a machine that's literally equivalent as brand new even though it might be years later. So ball bar is important to us. Faro laser tracker is critical when it comes to 5-axis. Um, <clears throat> using a laser to be able to actually check each axis and map it, critical. All those together give us uh, metrology skills that very few water jet companies have. Um, and again, it's just standard with everything that we do. When you buy a water jet, this kind of stuff is standard.